In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite home automation, my RoboRock automated vacuum cleaner. I'll show you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and how to connect it to Home Assistant so you can get the most out of it. Let's take a look. Hey home automation guy, start the show. I have the RoboRock S5 Max version, but Xiaomi have several different types of automated vacuum cleaners that are all very similar. No matter which one you choose, the automations and integration I'm going to show you in this video with Home Assistant will be the same. But first, let's start with the pros and cons of the vacuum cleaner itself. Firstly, it's really well built and feels like a high quality device. You can easily access the dust collection chamber to empty it, and it has a large water tank, which means it mops as well as vacuums. Mine vacuums and mops my tiled kitchen floor twice a day, and I haven't needed to do any additional cleaning there. It has built-in LiDAR, which means it detects and avoids most large objects. My old, dumb vacuum cleaner used to just bash into a wall, turn 90 degrees and try again. It also has built-in edge detection, which prevents it from committing suicide by diving off any cliffs. The mobile app for controlling it is pretty good as well. It was really easy to get it connected to my Wi-Fi, and after one spin around the kitchen, it had done a really good job of mapping out the floor pan of the room. If you want to integrate your vacuum cleaner to Home Assistant, make sure that you use the Xiaomi Home app from the App Store and not the RoboRock app. But it's not all rainbows and sunshine. There are some bad things about the device too. Firstly, it's really, really expensive. Mine clocked in at about 450 pounds. And because I rent a multi-story house, it would mean I would need to buy more than one if I wanted to clean all of my house automatically. Something I can't really justify right now. And whilst it works really well on my tiled kitchen and dining room floor, it did have some trouble when I moved it upstairs to the living room, which has a few thick rugs. I did manage to fix this by removing the mopping cloth and set it to vacuum only mode. You can also specify certain areas of the floor plan to be no mop zones, which means that it won't try and get up there if it's in mopping mode and won't get stuck. Like all robots, it likes to munch on any loose cabling or wires that you may have strewn around the floor. If you're going to use it in a room with cabling, make sure that you've properly tacked the cables or cable managed them away, otherwise you're going to have to untangle them from the vacuum brushes. And what's up with the voices? It only has one English voice, and it's a female voice. It's 2021, why do all our subservient robot slaves have to come with female voices by default? I did manage to select one male voice in the settings, but now I need to learn Mandarin. My final annoyance with the vacuum cleaner is also my biggest concern with it, and that is that it's reliant on the cloud and the internet in order to function. I prefer to keep my home automation and IoT devices off the internet and locally only within my network, but this is really difficult with the RoboRock vacuum cleaner. I had originally planned to install Valley Chudo, which is a custom firmware which keeps your robot vacuum cleaner working as normal whilst disconnecting it from the cloud and from the internet. Unfortunately, recent changes to the RoboRock vacuum cleaners mean that it's really difficult to install this firmware without pulling the whole thing apart, removing 58 different screws, soldering some wires on to connect to it via a serial port. Um, just make sure that you don't damage the connectors or the cables by pulling on them. Remove the small PCB with the buttons. It might be a little bit difficult to remove it, but... Uh... No. However, if you want to go ahead and do this, go right ahead. I've linked to the Valtudo instructions in the description below, as well as the video showing you how to disassemble your device. Hopefully one day some smart boffins will make this easier, and I'll be able to install the custom firmware and liberate my vacuum cleaner from its cloud overlords. For now though, to increase my security and my peace of mind, I've kept my vacuum cleaner connected to my separate IoT network, which is firewalled off from the rest of my devices. I'm going to be doing a video about my home networking setup in the near future, so if this is something that's interesting to you, click the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I've uploaded that video. Home Assistant has a built-in integration for Xiaomi devices, including the RoboRock vacuum cleaner. As of the 2021.7 version, it's really easy to integrate your Xiaomi vacuum cleaner into Home Assistant. Go to your configuration area, click on integrations and add new integration. Search for the Xiaomi Mi integration and install it. You'll now be prompted to enter your Xiaomi username and password, which is the same one that you use for the mobile phone application. You'll also need to specify a server to connect to. Since I'm based in Europe, I choose the DE, or Germany server, but you choose the one that makes the most sense for you and your location. If it doesn't work with one server, try one in a different region. You should now connect to the Xiaomi servers, discover your device, and create entities for it. 
This enables you to control the vacuum cleaner from Home Assistant, including starting and stopping the cleaning process, sending it back to its base, and setting its power level. You can also see a load of statistics about it. I then installed the Xiaomi Simple Vacuum Lovelace card via the Home Assistant Community Store, or Hacks. This is a really neat looking card that you can place on your Lovelace dashboards to give you information and control over your vacuum cleaner. If you're not sure what Hacks is or how it works, I've created a video about this which I've linked in the description below. With this Hacks card and the Lovelace dashboard, I can now control the vacuum cleaner directly from Home Assistant, which means I don't need to open up the Xiaomi Home app on my phone anymore. Since I've got my Google Homes and Amazon Echoes connected to Home Assistant via Nabucasa, I can also control the vacuum cleaner using my voice. Hey, good Start the vacuum cleaner. Okay, starting the kitchen vacuum cleaner. Now that you've got the vacuum cleaner integrated with Home Assistant, you can start using it in automations. I've created some very basic automations which simply tell it to turn on and vacuum at certain times of the day. For me, I found it works best when I send it around to clean at 2pm after I've made a mess in the kitchen making lunch. I also send it around at 11pm so the kitchen is sparkling clean when I come down in the morning. Here I am creating a basic automation in Home Assistant that will tell the vacuum cleaner to start cleaning at 11pm each day. Firstly, we give it a name. Then we choose a time-based trigger and set it to run at 11pm. We now use a call service action to initiate the start vacuum service and pick the robo rock as our target entity. This will now start the vacuum cleaning at 11pm every day. I set up a similar second automation to run at 2pm but only on weekdays. The real power of integrating the robo rock with Home Assistant is that I can create way more powerful automations. For example, I have a holiday mode that I turn on when I leave my house for extended periods of time. The automations for the vacuum cleaner now check to see if holiday mode is enabled and don't work if I'm on holidays. There's no point cleaning my house if I haven't been around to mess it up. I also used to get annoyed that the robot vacuum cleaner would come bearing down on me like a raging bull when I was standing in the kitchen making a snack or emptying the dishwasher. To combat this, I've created a new automation that pauses the vacuum cleaning if one of my kitchen motion detectors detects movement. Here you can see that the automation trigger is set to the kitchen motion sensor group and it will trigger the automation only if the vacuum cleaner is actually cleaning using this condition. It will then wait until no motion has been detected for one minute and resume cleaning again. This is a great example of home automation in action. There's something magical about having your house automatically adapt based on what's going on inside it, without you having to pull out your phone to press a button or shout at one of the speakers in the corner of the room. This vacuum cleaner really is my current favourite piece of home automation technology that I own. There are many different smart vacuum cleaners on the market that are probably as good or better than the one I bought. I did a lot of research before I picked the S5 Max and I chose it because it met all of my needs the best. If you're in the market for a robot vacuum cleaner, I highly recommend you check out the Vacuum Wars YouTube channel. They put these devices through a series of vigorous tests and create amazingly detailed reviews. I've put a link to their channel in the description for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. I regularly release videos about smart devices, home automation, and home assistant. If this is something that's interesting to you, click the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I release a new video. And then together, we can make your home smarter. <laughs>